Morning traders, and this is your DAX day trade setup today. And um, let me just get this chart set up first. So we didn't quite get much movement yesterday on Friday, sorry, not yesterday. And I am still very worried about um, the level that we had. So I would expect some kind of a pullback. But this little trend here is pretty strong. Okay, if you look at the alligator, you look at everything, that's pretty strong. So you, know, you are looking for a deeper pullback, but there's no signal that that's happening. And we've had two bearish signal bars here, which didn't materialize. And this one even sort of gap below. But that's why I always say look for the close. So if you're trading on, on a daily, you would have wanted a daily close below this bar to verify that the, the trend change. And you didn't get it. So whatever time frame you're, you're trading, you want the confirmations on that time frame. Okay. So at this stage, uh, the weekly was also another solid week, closing on its high. And nothing really, there are a couple of swing lows here that we've closed above. I suppose that's the, the logical area there, which is 12,962. So it's not too far from where we are. Okay, so let's just see what structure we've got for today nothing really here we have broken this where is my channel we kind of have this consolidation phase that we had here we have broken above it but I think what I'd like to see is a bit of a retest so I don't see that on the higher time frames at the moment so you can see on Friday we had this big move down inside bar, inside bar, engulfing bar, indecision, indecision, and still on the trend line. Once we formed this fractal, that was your new stop area for any um, trades to the upside. And you can see we did break the channel to the upside and then sideways. Looking at all my oscillators, this is looking a little bit tired. Okay, there's no diversions or anything like that, but I'm going to take it from that fractal there. I think that's our trend line. So I'd like to see some kind of a pullback, but there's nothing that I can actually see on this market at the moment. Okay, so let's just work on the 30 minutes here. So what we have... Okay, there is uh, the latest trend line break. Okay, uh, which for all intents purposes uh, was a triangle over there, which we've now broken out of, or alternatively, it's a triangle like that, which we've broken out of. Irrelevant. It's a breakout of sorts, and I'm going to use horizontal lines here. So that was our range that we were in. We've broken the range, and we've tested the range quite extensively. So for me at the moment, there are my two fractal levels. So I'm looking for a break of 12.880 to the downside, which would then bring some of these uh, levels to be tested. But this is a pretty strong move okay so a break to the upside is going to bring a measured move into play which would be let's just be a bit conservative there so that is going to bring us a measured move today of 12937 and you take the break that's a 42 point move to the upside and your stop is going to be 18 points just below this consolidation pattern here okay so that's kind of my view for today um, we do have some big results coming out today which is google so both google companies results are today but we also have the feds meeting on wednesday so you know we could depending on what google does we could uh, accelerate and then hover around waiting for the feds 
or if you know Google is sort of mediocre, then we could just hover, hover until Wednesday. So anything's possible. Now, I do suspect that this pattern of the last uh, two days is going to continue. Maybe not in this area, but probably find it'll bounce around a little bit higher. Okay, but that's my measured move at the moment. I think that's the most logical thing that we've got. I just want to check the 12 minutes to see if the fractals are different. No, they're not. So that is a valid short signal. That's a valid long signal. Okay. Well, those are the two levels we're looking for. So 12.892 to the upside. And obviously you want a 12 minute or a 30 minute close above this area. Okay. And if it's a big, long stretching bar, I'll stay out of it. I want to see a nice short little close, short bar close above here. That'll give me my confidence to get in. Okay. Uh, right now, the DAX futures is flat. So hovering around 12,893. Okay. So that's kind of my trade on the DAX today. Nice short and sweet. Let's just have a quick look at the Ichimoku, give us some confirmation here. Uh, and we'll do that on our. Okay, so we had a, a bearish crossover and then we had a bullish crossover. Now, when you get a bullish crossover above the cloud with a cloud green and with Chiku Span like that, that is a very strong bullish signal. Okay, so I do suspect that this break consolidation is going to continue. So, definitely validates my long. The four hour, I've uh, got a bit of divergence here, but look how the cloud is pointing up, did flatten off a little bit here but everything is bullish at the moment, okay? And your long term, if you're trading the four hour, my stop area is pretty much uh, 12,824, and I'm looking for, that's not a fractal level, I'm looking for a break of that fractal there. So that's my channel, if you look at it, on the four hour. So move up, consolidation, I'm looking for a four hour close, above 12.912 and that brings another measured move into play of 13.063 so that pretty much sort of um, 60 or 70 points more than what uh, we're looking at at the moment okay so the other oscillator is looking a bit tired but this trend is pretty strong to the upside and the last thing we want to do is look at the daily. So the warning that we have on the daily is this flat Kijinson. Okay. So normally what happens when you see this, what you're expecting is Chiku Span to start rolling over to come back down to Kijinson. Okay. Uh, we look here. You see there's flat Kijinson. Look at Tikinson. And then we roll back down. Okay. And the converse is true from the bottom. You see... Uh, Tikinson flat, Kijinson pointing down, and then we rolled over to a crossover. Okay, so when you start seeing this kind of pattern, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, but basically, doesn't mean it's a, it's going to be a crash. It just means that we have a bit of a consolidation or pullback. And remember what I said: you've got uh, Fed results today, and you've got Google results. Oh, it's not Fed results on Wednesday, Google results today. So both of those could be big catalysts to drive the market in any direction. Okay, so that's kind of my view at the moment. I think you know, the trend is still up. Daily is sending out some warning signals. A four hour is not really giving me any warning signals. No, no diversions or anything like that. Uh, sort of the four hour is just, I'm in an uptrend and trade me to the upside. So that's kind of what I would expect us to do. And just for me, take that off the 12 minute. So here is my consolidation pattern. And even if you do that, okay, it's a flag and we had a break above it. So you want to see some kind of a pullback, a bit of a gap here and then get back in long. Okay. And your stop is below these two swing lows here. And I think on the half hour it gives you, not really, okay. But you can see lots of warnings on the on the half hour, and you've had a nice good break as well. But looking at this, this was a nice solid move, consolidation, 
and I'm looking for another move to the upside. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's my view for today. I hope it helps. Just bear in mind, it is Monday. We do have some some big catalysts uh, early in the week, so you know, people could just be waiting until uh, sort of Wednesday before they start trading. So it could be a frustrating up and down session as well. Okay, so keep those stops tight, and I'll catch you later. Cheers for now.